episode two is giving a little bit more than episode one, but not too much. And Fatima, do you really think that you can hide the abuse that Jeremiah has subjected you to? What's good, y'all? She gets to Sarah Kavain comes to you right here on Eric Kavain TV with another Fatima video. And this one, we are breaking down season three, episode number two. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my Satima content and conversations. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this episode, which has a little bit of everything. Zach gets the confirmation that Bryce is not going to be able to recoup the money that he took or was taken from Zach's personal account, the $1.5 million from his father. His father decided after considering it that nope, he ain't going to be able to do it. He can't make it enough. He can't cover you. You're going to have to figure it out. Don't call him no more for no money. And while I understand Zach's anger and frustration as it pertains to Bryce, I did feel like their interaction was very much so redundant in this episode, especially given the almost physical altercation that they got into in the first episode. But, you know, you know, it makes sense. Like once you get the final blow, the final like this is going to be an absolute no, you don't have any other options, no other recourse, no other potential to recoup the money and you still have to bury your mama. I get that it gets real. I guess I just wish they would have like brushed through it a little bit quicker. And I also wish I, we could start to see a little bit more to Bryce because we were sold this nice Asian man who just might be a little bit a bit freaky, but for the most part was a nice guy. And now we're just seeing him lead with anger, guilt, shame, and um, doubling down in anger most of the time. And most of the characters that interact with him, I don't actually feel are safe with him. Now, Zach might be able to hold his own because he's a man. But when he shows up at Angela's house and he's looking for potential investors, as if he is not also a hedge fund manager, how in the hell do a hedge fund manager who works with Gary, like professionally, what you were doing with Zach was something on the side, your professional job is hedge fund manager how the hell do you not know any other investors and you're going to go to angela a receptionist looking for investors who can give you three million dollars something ain't clicking and your anger and your aggression and your jealousy when angela's like yo you gotta go or i got somebody coming over you're not her man every part of me says angela do not let this man in your house because he is very much so erratic he is very much so out of control and in the moment that he's at right now i feel like he's approaching a manic state in reference to wanting to make it up to zach so bad because quiet as kept he decided to reveal in this episode that the only reason why he actually did the deal even though zach told him not to was because he thought that he was going to be able to do this great deal with this great price with this great interest rate with this great location and then ultimately Zach would just be so pleased by the money that he was able to set them up to make that he, Zach would forgive him trying to kiss him sir you're comparing apples and oranges no matter how much money you was going to be able to bring for Zach or make a windfall happen for Zach, he was always still going to be very much so uncomfortable by your romantic advances because he is a heterosexual man and you are a bisexual man. And your lack of social uh, decorum, your lack of uh, perception, your lack of self-awareness, your lack of being able to read the room puts you in a compromising position with your business manager. And sometimes you can't come back from that. There are consequences to thy actions. And the part that I'm really struggling with with the Bryce is that every time we see him get angry get jealous or get verbally very violent I feel like we're also still not seeing him fully be accountable he keeps saying he's sorry but then spewing out aggression back to somebody who is rightfully frustrated that you stole 1.5 million dollars from them or you fetishize them and then try to trick them into some type of freaky situation i.e Angela and she didn't actually want to go for it anymore and now you can't take no for an answer now you can't sit in the fact that you are actually not a safe place for these people and they don't want nothing to do with you. Go find your people. I really don't want to watch additional episodes of him crying and pining and like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. While also still deciding to get mad every time Zach gets mad. Like you don't get to have it both ways. You need to pick your struggle. You're either going to be aggressive, frustrated, guilty, and push back. Or you're going to be humble, find some type of humility, and think of additional options. And go and find investors and try to figure this out on your own. You literally don't get to do both. Now, the bulk of this episode is like Fatima trying to hide the fact that Jeremiah laid hands on her. The ambulance comes once Angela finds her 
and Jeremiah runs off and um, she calls 911 and ambulance comes and says that her and the baby are fine and she wants to keep it from Zach because she knows that if Zach finds out about it Zach is going to jail and she don't want Zach in jail which I actually get what I don't get is why you don't want Jeremiah in jail I get like the black women don't want to send black men to jail but he's also a crackhead and maybe he needs to detox because the way he threw you up against that car over this money that he thought you had yeah it was given the hulk Mm. it was given there needs to be consequences for thine ass and you need to dish it out by calling the police on him he can't help himself he needs to be sat down and the police a little jail time will do that for him he don't even have to worry about going into rehab you're gonna throw your ass into a cell and let you detox there yeah exactly but Fatima doesn't want to do that. And she thinks that she's going to be able to keep this away from um, Zach because the only people who know is Angela, Jeremiah, and her. However, Jeremiah goes back to the hood and is mumbling about how he didn't hurt Fatima, how Fatima just fell, how he had nothing to do with it, which is him basically snitching on his damn self because that's also what crackheads do. And he happens to do this to Connie, Tony, Nate, and Belinda, who all happen to be kicking it in the hood. Belinda, the way that you're like my other man and he's like my, you're i'm your only man speaking of nate and belinda by the way as if nate is not married like are we going to pretend that nate is not married and nate doesn't have two kids that he don't actually pay any kind of damn attention to like are we just not going to address that are we just going to be able to sit in the hood playing spades or uno or whatever the hell y'all playing like it's cool they lie like y'all don't have anything else going on tony don't you have a job i know connie don't have one but also connie where are your kids don't you got like four six seven eight nine ten eleven of them what is actually going on here now we also going real, going back to the zach's office and um bryce real quick because when zach decides to storm out because he can't actually take all of what bryce is kicking in his ear um preston gets further clarity x confirmation question take a look at the portfolio for the property he tells bryce that he's going to cover zach's funeral or Zach's mom's funeral costs. And then he also takes the perspectives, which I think that we're going to wind up seeing Preston actually invest in the property as well, which would, might not give Zach all of his $1.5 million back, but could probably give half if he decides to put up like the other half for Zach, which could replace Zach's initial investment, which would make him um, a third, not necessarily a third, because Bryce would have a half and then Zach and um, Preston would split a quarter. I'm not necessarily mad at that. I think that Preston has the right temperament for business and he's not showing his hands. I love that he, to me, feels like he has a little bit of wealth and the way that Zach is like, you drive a beat up truck and you wear cowboy boots, but he also does manual labor and he's a farmer. And if he happens to be at a farm that's like really huge, tons of acres, then yeah, they actually have money, Zach. But you wouldn't know what hard work with rolling up your sleeve, with blue collar labor looks like. You just want to sit in here and play solitaire and just uh, skate off of the $1.5 million that you hit like the lottery uh, with the stock market, which was never going to last long. And you're never, you were never going to survive for the rest of your life and take care of your 50, 11 kids off that just that 1.5 million dollars but i digress preston is going to be the saving grace for zach mark my words and in angela's little neck of the woods she's still kicking it with sean and sean wants more he wants connection he wants communication and all she wants is sex I hope we get to see something, some type of evolution with her because between her, Belinda being okay with being a side chick and Angela being okay with not giving a man a, a time to further get to know her and or commit to her, I'm over to both of them, just to be quite honest. And I'm also over Fatima hiding the fact that she got tossed up against her goddamn old car. She got a big old bruise on the top left of her damn head. And she also needs to go to the hospital to truly make sure that this baby is okay. Because that is going to be the thing that put, that be Zach 13th reason and or put him in jail. If what happens behind this is something that some kind of complications for your pregnancy, all because Jeremiah with his crackhead ass decided that he wanted to run up on you for some money. And that's pretty much it, y'all. That's what went down. That's what went down. The first two episodes are here for Tyler Perry's Zatima. This has been the breakdown for episode two. I do have the breakdown for episode one if you were presented with this video first. So then go ahead and check it out. I'll put it on the screen for you now. And then let me know what you thought about the episodes. I cannot wait to further discuss with y'all. And then I also will be having other videos breaking down plot points and doing a little bit of predictions very very soon so subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one